Hey y'all. Uh, my name is Nell Wilson. Uh, pronouns are they and them. My name is Brenna, and my pronouns are she, her, or they, them. And today we continued week two of the uh, elective course in November 2019 at Wednesday Night Hop, our Gush and Lag series. So this is what we did today. Yeah, kind of continuing with the, the set of concepts that we were working on last week. This time we talked about this idea of lagging our body, essentially taking our shoulders, our core, and our legs and moving them at different times. Um, and so we started off with this exercise of trying to walk while leading the movement from our legs. So walk, 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 versus walking entirely on our weight where our feet our hips and our shoulders are all lined up. Yeah, so note the weight of transfer there. Your weight transfer is immediate, immediate, or it's got this delayed weight transfer as you roll across your foot. Perfect. Um, and then we applied this concept along with the concepts we worked on last week, which are uh, spreading honey and lagging the music or lagging the beat uh, in order to work on a couple moves. So um, the first one was scarecrow, which looks like this. Five, six, seven, and a shoe. Ba, do, ba, ooh, and a shoe. Kick, step, kick, slide, a goosh. Kick, step, kick, slide, goosh. Kick, step, kick, slide, a goosh. All right, actually, let me do that with counts really quick. Five, six, seven, and a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, one. Cool. So some things we noted for that. We especially worked on that step behind. So we kick and we want to reach out a little bit and let our body catch up. And from there, you can really gush into that scarecrow movement. And then the other two concepts we talked about were the idea of spreading honey. So making sure that we're moving continuously through this whole thing. We don't want to get to the end of the slide too quickly and then just wait here. And the other thing was the idea of lagging the beat. So. When we got to the scarecrow, we would hold this for just a second too long and then speed this part up. Uh, and that gave us a really dramatic effect on the scarecrow part. Great. Um, fantastic. So let's move on to the second move, which was uh, scissor, scissor kicks. kicks. Yeah. So that looked like this. Five, six, seven, and scissor kick, scissor kick, One scissor and two, kick, three scissor and four. kick, scissor kick. Cool. So the concept we focused on there was leading this movement from our lower body and having the rest of our body catch up. So we're going scissor kick, scissor kick, scissor kick, scissor kick. We noted that there were a few different ways to get lag in your body and having your upper body catch up to what your feet are doing. So one of them, if you don't want to go down, if you have knee issues in particular, you've got kick and cross and you let your whole body take some time to transfer. Um, if you do want to go down, if you don't have knee pain, kick and cross, kick, we've got that sink, especially in that kick, right? Like you have this and that can help propel you because you've got that sort of motion. Cool. Uh, the next move we worked on were was a boogie, boogie drops. drop. Yeah, so that looks like this. Five, six, seven, and a one, two, three. Five, six, seven, and a one, two, three, a five, six, seven. So some things of note for that. Once again, we're having our upper body catch up to our feet. So boogie, notice that as my foot steps out, it's stepping beyond where my body is, and that means I can catch up and collect at the end. Catch up and collect. Yeah, and so it's almost like a body roll where our foot's going out first, then our hips are going on top of that, and then our shoulders are going on top of that. So it's like boogie drop until yeah. we're all collected. Totally. And so once again, this is something that you don't have to do if you have knee pain with the level change. You can just go straight across, which looks like this. A boogie drop, boogie drop. And you can use your upper body to emphasize the lag instead of going down. Perfect. And then we did fall off the log. Yep. And so the big concept we worked on for fall off the logs was the idea of creating the kick that starts off a fall off the log from our movement. 
So instead of uh, moving our limbs and having our body catch up with it, we're moving our body and having our limbs catch up with us. So that looks like this. Five, six, seven, fall off the log, fall off the log, fall off the log. Yeah. So, so that motion there is almost like I'm punching Nell, if I may. Yeah, so we aren't mechanically putting our limbs up like that. It should be more incidental. You can practice this at home if you're like a tree that's falling and then you just naturally let your limbs come up as you fall. Yeah. Um, yeah, and so that was kind of this whole concept of, again, body lag, which was the thing we've been working on today. And the last thing we did was... Um, per request of last week, so we'll, we'll be gentle, but it was the jump Charleston on the other foot. So we're going to rock step with our right foot. We've got rock, step, kick, step, kick. So something to note is that whatever foot you rock step on to start, you'll be doing that big kick forward with the opposite. So we've got rock, step, kick, step, kick, step, switch, a triple step, kick, switch, a triple step. So once again, whatever foot you rock step with, that's gonna be your triple step foot. So that might help you keep the two sides distinct. Very ambitious. Thanks so much. Thank you. See you next week.